Oh my god, no freaking way. Do you see what I see? My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf. Or shall I say your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. But hey, uh... We are at Thrift Giant this morning. We're about to head in there and see what kind of goodies they got. Keep our fingers crossed and pray that the vintage thrift store gods are good to me today. If you're new to the channel, my name is Chris Burfield. My friends call me Burf. You can call me Burf too. And uh, I hunt for vintage toys in thrift stores. So if you like thrifting, if you like vintage toys, you'll probably like my channel. So hit the subscribe button. I've got a lot of great content for you. Um, but yeah, we're going to head in here today and take a look around, see if we can pull any vintage scores off the shelf or maybe even some modern toys if they're cool enough. Um, and then when we're done here, I have no idea where I'm gonna go today. So uh, it's all big mystery. It's uh, Burf's Vintage Mystery Toy Tour or something like that. <laughs> the Mystery Tour. Uh, but yeah, let's head in here. Let's stop wasting time. Let's see if we can get us some goodies. All right, well, what do we got here? Got ourselves a 12 inch Hulk. We got some stock car. Sit go Bassmasters Classic. And we've got this bobblehead Ray. Oh, look at this little Harry Potter thing. I think that's Harry Potter, right? It looks like Harry Potter. That's kind of cool. We've got a Jurassic World Stegosaurus. Oh, look at this over here. This is cool too. Oh yeah, the little Funko place. It's, oh, look at this Groot. See, they went $20 for him. Holy cow, are you kidding me? I gotta see how much how much is this guy worth that they're trying to charge $20 for him. That is ridiculous. Yeah, this dude is selling for like 30 bucks, brand new in the box, and they're trying to charge $19.81 for a loose figure. Get the fuck out of here. Oh my God, look at this too. 1981 for that. 1981 for that. These things aren't even worth. They're not even worth that. Loose. These are. What the heck? I don't know who did the pricing on these things, but this is nuts. Uh, we've got a talking Iron Man. We've got an Optimus Prime. And a Cars plush piston cup. Oh, look at this. Uh, Talking Mother Goose. Oh, it's a cassette. That's got that's vintage for sure. I wonder how much that thing's worth. All right, so I just opened this up, and this all looks pretty clean in here. I took the battery out. It doesn't look like there's a lot of corrosion going on, which is a good thing. Let's put this back in here. And then the only thing that I was kind of questioning is this over here. So the eject works, but there's a thing here that says play. But I don't see, here's the volume, but I don't see a play button. And I'm wondering if it, this was it right here and if it broke off or whether that's just a little green light to let you know that it's on because I don't see a play button on here anywhere. Hmm. All right, well, it turns out she's selling for about 30 bucks but that's with her also working. And I don't know if she works or not. So I'm gonna pass on it, leave it here for someone else to pick up. Oh, look at this big old plush, great white shark. This is a, a Melissa and Doug plush. I got this little gnome looking thing. I got a dragon. He's kind of cute. He's a Build-A-Bear. Build a bear dragon. Wow, seven bucks for that plush. Oh, let's see what else do we got down here. Any other goodies? Oh, it's the Nestle Quick Rabbit. All right, we gotta get this. Four dollars. Yeah, this is this has got to be vintage, right? Maybe. Copyright nineteen. Oh yeah, it says on there nineteen ninety. Nineteen ninety something. I can't see because it's. Oh there. Well. Yeah, 1990 something. All right, let's grab this guy. He's cool. And we got some sort of squirrel trying to get a nut. 
and uh what's this nestle nestle rabbit's uh superhero brother <laughs> all right what's this a little plushy of a cow devil oh this is one of the is this a squishmallow oh yeah little squishmallow guy I was thinking about getting him because he's small. I was like, oh, I could probably flip him. And there are people trying to sell him for $30. But in the last 90 days, eBay shows none of him have been sold. But it also says he's like a rare boba tea sipping devil cow. <laughs> but it doesn't look like anybody wants him. Oh, my God. Look at this cute little guy. <laughs> look at this guy. Oh, he's got a little hat. I'm going to put his hat on him. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look how cute he is. He's so cute. <laughs> Part of me wants to get him. All right. Well, we scored a Nestle's Quick Bunny Rabbit. So check him out. Turns out he's from 1996, the year I fell out of college. But uh, yeah, I got a little Nestle Quick uh, cup, a vintage cup that I found at uh, the Antiques Gallery Tea Room over in Louisville. I think I picked it up for like three or four bucks or something like that. So he'll look perfect next to that cup on a shelf in the bunker. But check him out. We got some vintage 90s plush. The mother goose was actually really cool. I just wish I knew if it worked or not. See, I had bought a, a Mickey Mouse, one of those about a year and a half ago. And it was a cassette thing. And I bought it. I think I paid like $10 for it, got it home and didn't work so i was like well i could probably still get 20 dollars out of it selling it nobody wanted it if it didn't work they didn't want it so like i ended up like selling it at my yard sale for like five dollars for like less than what i paid for it i just didn't want to get into another situation like that here by the way um speaking of yard sales i made a little mistake on the dates my yard sale will be april 14th and 15th not the 15th and 16th, but it'll be April 14th and 15th. So uh, I'm going to have a ton of toys on sale for dirt cheap, dirt cheap toys. I'm going to crush dirt cheap's prices. So uh, if you don't know what dirt cheap is, dirt cheap is a, a store here that they mark. They get new stock and like it's the boxes are usually damaged and stuff. I got toys are intact usually, but the boxes are damaged and they mark it down real cheap. I'm going to beat dirt cheap's prices so uh shoot me an email at 80s toys rock at gmail.com and uh i'll get you my address you can come out here on april 14th and 15th and uh score you some goodies so all right guys again like i said earlier i have no idea where i'm headed next but wherever i end up i will see you there well here we are we are here where's here well i decided that I'd hit up Thrift Giant in Louisville. Now, I normally hit this place up on 5 Thrift Store Friday, and it's the Thursday before 5 Thrift Store Friday, but I already hit up all the other stores on the other side of town this week, so I'm kind of running out of options right now. And besides, I might uh, might do some different stores tomorrow. I might head to Denton tomorrow for 5 Thrift, <laughs> 5 Thrift Store Friday. Of course, I don't know. I don't know. I'll probably just hit this place up again. I'll probably hit it up two days in a row. All right, let's see what they got in here. All right, here we are. Ground zero. Let's see what we can find. Uh, looks like some sort. Looks like he's missing his head, actually. I feel like this place, like the toy section, is getting weaker and weaker by the day. What's that? It almost looks like an A-Team van. <laughs> Performance products. It's got like spinner tires or something. I'll check this out. It's a neat little tank. And what's down here? Oh yeah, I had this guy once before. I actually just sold him at my yard sale last November. What's here? Do it yourself. Recycle truck. Who's this dude? Oh, this is like a is this that Max Steel guy, maybe? I don't know. Kind of looks like that Max Steel. And I got the chopper. We got the driver. Better put him back inside here. You belong inside the chopper. 
There you go. We got a TMNT Raphael. These some turtle combs? Yeah, they sure are. Too bad they weren't vintage. Hey, it's Thumper. Yeah, he's soft. And we got a Kermit the Frog over here in his nightgown. That's kind of cool. The tag's ripped off, so we don't know how old he is, but he's kind of cool. Oh, look, what do we got here? Look at that thing. That is so freaking cool. What the heck is that? $2.59. I'm definitely buying this. Wow. Yeah, that is super cool. I'll check out these uh, these unicorns. I got a couple of them here. And then we got this little dude. We got this knockoff My Little Pony, some Disney stuff. Well, it turns out this is uh, a killer clowns from outer space, like custom resin or something like that. But uh, I haven't found this one exactly, but I did find others that were that looked similar to it that were selling for like eighty to a hundred dollars. That is freaking sweet. Oh, check him out. Three fifty nine. All right, yeah, let's pick him up for that. That is cool. There's like a a Tonka truck caught inside of there. <laughs> That's funny. Somebody's gonna get a bonus when they buy this thing. Oh, check this out. Isn't his name Plastic Man or something like that? He like, can he like stretch his body and all kinds of different things? Like, I think he can turn like his hand into a hammer, right? Something like that. It's kind of neat. Looks like the uh, animated cartoon version, maybe. All right, well, let's do some show and tell with this haul I got. Well, first up, we got this Spider-Man on this spider cycle and uh i'm not a hundred percent but it kind of looks like oh does he just come up off like that i was thinking maybe he actually launched out of here <laughs> i was like that would be really cool if it like somehow catapulted him up off the bike but anyway i got him for three dollars and 59 cents i got him just for me i'm not gonna resell him or anything like that not that I really resell anything anyway, guys. I always talk about reselling, but I'm too I'm a, I'm the world's laziest reseller. I buy the stuff and then it just sits in a box in the garage or upstairs, which is why Nicole gets on me all the time. She's like, I thought you were gonna sell this stuff. I am. I am gonna sell it, I promise. Which is why I'm having my yard sale. I gotta get rid of some stuff and get rid of it cheap. Take a loss on it for sure. Uh, but anyway, you know, because you don't want to have a yard sale with uh, eBay prices. That's just dick. Anybody that tries to have a yard sale with eBay prices is dick. <laughs> so you got to have yard sale prices. You want to, if you want eBay prices, list them on eBay and sell them on eBay. Don't put eBay prices on your yard sale. So anyway, I got this guy. I also got. This amazing work of art. This thing is so badass. Oh my God. I think Nicole's going to love this. I'm going to see if she wants to put it on her shelf. I don't know if she will or not, but she likes scary things. She likes, you know, weird things. And, uh, but she also likes cutesy things. And it's kind of a cute killer clown from space. <laughs> I think that's what they were called. Killer clowns from space. And it's uh, said it was like a custom resin. So looks like they actually painted this with by hand, possibly. I mean, kind of look at the uh, look at the paintwork there. It's kind of like smudge. I don't think that's like factory or anything like that. That looks like it might have been painted by hand, which would be really really cool. But man, I absolutely love this thing. I love weird stuff, and this is definitely weird. So yeah, man, score. Well, let's head on over to the Goody Wheel and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, my friends. We're at the Goody Wheel, baby. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? All right, let's go in here and see what they got. All right, well, let's see. What do we got on these shelves? That's like a, what is that, like a Hulk? 
motorcycle, maybe a joker. Look at this thing, Animal Planet. Oh, this thing's kind of cool. Where does that go to? I might pick that up. That just looks really neat. Hey. Oh, <laughs> for a second, I thought that was Punchy from Hawaiian Punch, but it's not. It's just a pineapple. Oh, we got a cute little pig here. Oh, what's this over here? That looks like a vintage micro machines. Is it made by Galoob? Oh yeah, 1988 Lewis Galoob toys. Hell yeah. That is a vintage micro machines aircraft carrier. We are totally picking that up. Check out these train cars. Lots of Christmas stuff. Yeah, there's Santa and there's reindeer. We got a polar bear and a seal and a penguin. Oh, look at these birthday candles. We got BB-8, we've got Chewy, that General Plasma or something like that, all right? Kylo Ren. All right, guys, we got ourselves a couple of tiny scores, micro scores, but uh, yeah, let's jump in the car and check them out. Well, first up, we've got this 1988 Galoob Micro Machines aircraft carrier play set now it is missing some pieces it's missing the tower there's a back piece that hooks on right here and uh maybe like one or two other pieces but i think it's awesome and uh i have some micro machine planes that will go really well with it so uh planes that i found in a thrift store like a year or so ago so that is really cool uh, i paid two dollars and two cents for this uh but here was the cool thing i had my little goodwill hookup here my little old you know, she's a sweet little old lady she's my hookup here at goodwill she gave this to me for free now it was only a dollar 51 to start but she didn't charge me for it and this is actually i think it was 2004 or 2000 yeah 2004 playmobil and it's a giant crossbow with like three arrows that shoot out of it. And I just recently got that Playmobil Castle playset. So this will actually go really well with that. That Castle playset though, I think is a little older than 2004, I think. Um, I haven't actually found a date on that thing yet. But yeah, this is cool. And to get it for free, bonus. Yeah, see, right there. She only charged me for one item. How cool is that? All right, well, we're having uh, a vintage day. So we've got vintage 1980s. We've got vintage 1990s. Uh, we're off to a good start. So let's uh, go hit up a couple more thrift stores. We'll probably head over to Thrift Shitty, baby, and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, gang. We're at the infamous Thrift City, home of the inglorious glass case. See what they got. Well, 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 what do we got in Plushville? Looks like we got a Batman. What is this thing on his? Oh, that's his cape. I was like, what's this thing on his head? All right. Let's see. What's this right here? Looks like some little fairy playset. Hatchimals is what it goes to. Oh, look at this stego. Just checking to see if that was an imperial. I don't think it is. Oh, look at this little dude. He's got a little ladybug on his head. Oh, we got one of these. Uh, I always see these night lights, but they're kind of like, I always see them with uh, Jurassic World, like a T-Rex or something like that. But here, we've got a Leonardo. That's fun. All right, what else? Oh, we got ourselves like a little Joker mobile. That's cool. We got lots of bags over here. But I think most of them have just these big blocks in them. There are, this one here's got some smalls. I don't know what that is. I 
Yeah, I don't really see anything in there. Now, those uh, ants in your pants, pants. <laughs> Apparently, they're not in the box. She said they were uh, just out. They were like loose. So Jennifer Davis, if you're watching, I'm a looking. <laughs> I'm trying to see if I can find them. That will be the goal of this store to find the ants in your pants, pants. Apparently it's like I said, it's just the pants. They're loose. They're not in the box. But I'm not seeing them. Am I blind? <laughs> they might have taken them off the shelf, maybe. I mean, we still have to check down there, though. So we'll go check down there. Hey, look, it's backpack, 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 backpack. Oh, my little pony. Oh, that is cool. It's like their candy shop or something. That could be worth a little something. Well, I see people trying to sell it for 20 to 35 bucks, but like in the last 90 days, none of them have sold. What a cool little thing. I don't even know how I got it to sing the first time. That's the thing, I'm always turning stuff on by accident. I don't know how I do it half the time. All right, what do we got down here? world's most oh yeah we saw this last time the world's most difficult puzzle oh this is a different one though most difficult jigsaw puzzle big boom blast lab oh looks like we can blow some shit up oh yeah look, look at that ant he's about to throw that stick of dynamite down into the volcano that doesn't seem uh very safe all right what else oh look at this guy Oh, man. Oh, you know what? Whoa. <laughs> I think I got another one of these guys, but he was the one, other one I got was like an Aztec king or something. What do they want for him? $1.99. Yeah, he's too cool to pass up for a buck ninety-nine. Let's grab him. Oh, well, look at this. We got a pirate monster. It says pirate curse monster truck. We got a shark. We got some more bags down here. Oh, look at this dude. Is he like one of those Treasure X guys? Oh man, it's that Ryan's World kid. Yeah, he's cool. But he's the only cool thing in this bag. We got here, yeah, we got some, we got some die cast. Lots of die cast in this bag. Anyway, I only want four bucks for it. I'm sure that's worth it. Just not a big die cast guy. I always say that. You guys should know that by now. But uh, I am not seeing these ants in the pants anywhere. What's this thing? Oh, it's like a Transylvania car or something. more die cast. The only ones I would be interested in are those red lines because I got a guy I can trade with plus they seem to be worth a little bit more. I'll check out this food truck. It says Walgreens. Interesting. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm not a big die cast guy, but I did buy that Hot Wheels carrying case a while back, and I need to fill it up with some cars. So for four bucks, I think this would be worth it. Besides, I saw this little speedboat was selling for like eight bucks just by itself. 
All right, kids, you know what time it is. It's time to check the glass case. Well, that Fisher Price radio is still there. Holy cow, nobody bought the, the peace pipe yet. <laughs> Anything over here? Uh, it just, oh, it looks like some of the glasses might have moved. All right, we got a haul. So let's uh, jump in the car and do some show and tell. I did buy the die cast uh, Matchbox Hot Wheels, whatever, Maisto. Uh, but we probably won't go through all of them because there's quite a bit. But I'm going to put them all in that carrying case I got. Start to fill that sucker up and then maybe turn around and flip the whole thing for a pretty penny. Maybe. <laughs> flip. Yeah, right, Burf. <laughs> Or maybe I'll trade. I've been doing a lot more trades than I have been flipping. Come on, open up. There we go. All right, first up, we got this little Tykes Kingdom Builders Sledge Hammer Fist. How cool is he? Like I said, I think I, I got another one of these little Tykes that was like an Aztec King or something like that. But I really think these toys are cool. I like them because they're bulky and uh and they're kind of unique like they're super awesome i mean they're supposed to be for quote unquote little tykes but uh i think he's gonna look real cool up on a shelf in the bunker so i got him i also picked up this bag of matchbox and die we'll, we'll just call them die cast but check that out like that that little boat right there i saw just sold for like eight bucks on ebay so we've got uh, this one. Oh, look at that Mustang on the side of it. What year is this from? This is made by Matchbox. Does it say it's a Mustang Cobra? It doesn't have a year on it, but whoops. But I did see some older ones here. Like this one was from 1991. Check that out. What, what kind of car is that? Is that a Buick Skylark or something like that? <laughs> I don't know what that is. It's a neat color though. Um, let's see what else. I think I even saw like a Ferrari in here. Oh, here's a truck. What year is this thing from? Uh, 1997. Ford, it's an off-road. Is it Ford? I don't know. It just says 4x4 four four off-road. Doesn't say what it is. But I think, is this the, uh, no, that wasn't it. Oh, there it is. Figured it'd be way over here. Oh no, that's not even it. What's what's this one here? I don't know what that is. But there's like a Ferrari in here somewhere. Is that it? No, that's just a convertible. No. Uh, let me see. Yeah. Look at this one. I like the color of this one. The Dive Club. Or maybe that Ferrari was in that other bag. I thought it was in this one. Oh, look at that. We've got this truck that's all it's got a little lift kit on it. But yeah, so we got ourselves a bag of die cast. Ah, there it is. It wasn't a uh it wasn't a Ferrari, it was a Porsche 911. Check that out. What year is that from, does it say? It does not, it's made by Maisto. But that is a sharp looking car. All right, gang, well, let's head off to the other thrift giant and see what's over there. I got a, I got a little haul going here. <laughs> a little haul that's gonna get me in trouble with the wavy. All right, well, we're in this far, let's keep going. Man, guys, I was just thinking, we've scored at every single place that we've stopped at today. That's a good thing and a bad thing. It's a good thing for me because I get my plastic fix. I get that I, that hit of dopamine. It's bad for uh, your boy when it comes to facing the wifey at the house. And she sees all the shit I brought home. So now she's actually really supportive, but she does like agree that we, and I agree with her, we gotta get rid of some stuff, so. But in the meantime, let's buy some more things. Now, I will say this, if we're gonna get busted, it's gonna be at this place. <laughs> we get busted at this place all the time. I'm trying to read what it said right there. 
almost looks like it says Jurassic, but it doesn't. That's a, I think that's a vintage one. I have that guy. All right, let's see what else. Anything else on the shelves? We got some robot canines. Got some bags of like the big Lego stuff. What the heck is this thing? I have no idea what that goes to. What's this? Oh, look at this guy. What's it say on the back of his shirt? Vam, Vambi's Brock. I've never seen a hockey doll like that. And what's this back here? This Happy Meal Play Shop? What is this? Oh, it must be for Play- Oh yeah, it's for Play-Doh. Well, that's kind of neat. What year is this from? 1998. All right, we're probably going to get this. I like Mickey D's stuff. But uh, yeah, this guy right here, I'm going to have to check on him. All right, so this guy really isn't selling at all. So I don't think he's worth a whole lot of money. I don't even see a price tag on him, so they probably wouldn't sell him to us. But this thing's selling for like 10 to 15 bucks, but I'm not going to sell it. I'm just going to get it and keep it for a display. Yeah, look at this dude. This dude looks dangerous. There are some model kits in that cart. Like right there. And they're sealed. I'd like to know what they're asking for those. Twelve ninety one. Wow, look at these tables with the glass top. You could like display, you could lay all your G.I. Joes down and display them inside there. Man, I wish I had room for something like that. And look at this thing. Isn't that awesome? Man, these little play sets are popping up everywhere. We've seen quite a few of those lately. Dang, he just took the cart way over there. And I'm not sure why. All right, guys, we got it. This thing is selling, they want $12.91. It's selling for 75 big ones. Oh yeah. Nice, let's grab this. All right, well, we scored again. And this was a big money score. So let's jump in the car and take a look at it. Oh well, yeah! -ha! We got the USS Texas BB35. So check this bad boy out, $12.91 selling for like 70 to 80 bucks plus shipping made by a company called trumpeter trump yeah let's see how many people we can trigger with the word trump <laughs> but uh yeah this is cool it's a 1 350th scale so we are absolutely 100 percent gonna flip this on ebay however the hardest part about flipping that on ebay is finding a box to ship it in we got that we also got this 1998 happy meal play shop by play-doh and uh the only reason i got it was for display purposes i've got some really awesome oh look there's some crusty play-doh in there <laughs> it's definitely been played with um but i've got some awesome uh vintage mickey d's toys that will look really nice displayed next to this so we've got like one more stop and uh we seem to be on a roll so who knows what we're gonna find at the goody wheel so let's head that way and see what kind of goodies they got all right here we are i think this is our final destination we could potentially stop at goodwill on the way home i don't know we'll see what happens in here but hey what you got for me today goody wheel what you got for me today? Hopefully you got some vintage toys like your buddy over off of Round Grove Road did. That's where we scored them, Micro Machines aircraft carrier. All right, guys, let's see what we got in here. All right, let's see what we got. How about anything over here in Plushville? Not really seeing anything. Look at that cute little gnome garden, fairy garden, or whatever it is. Got the little gnome dude over there. Wow, that is like super, super cute. 
Oh my god, no freaking way. Do you see what I see? Holy cow, look at that thing. Wow. Oh my gosh. How much do they want for that? 10 bucks for that. Oh, that is badass. Oh, I'm totally snagging that. That is freaking awesome. Whoa. Holy cow, I'm in awe. I'm in awe of this thing. This thing is, look at that. Wow. I can't believe they're only asking 10 bucks for that. I'm just kind of checking to see if anything's broken on it. Can't imagine they just want $10. Wow. I can't believe this. This thing is freaking incredible. It is truly awesome. He's on that jazz, man. He's on that jazz. He's on that jazz, man. He's on that jazz. I'm gonna do a moonwalk jazz. I'm, I'm walking. I'm gonna walk jazz in it. <laughs> this thing is incredible. Now, I don't know the value of it. It's only 10 bucks. I know it's worth way more than that, but I just looked up some of these T-Rex busts. Some of them are going for anywhere from 100 to like several thousand dollars. So I don't think this is like a several thousand dollar one, but it's pretty awesome. I'm sure it's at least worth a hundred dollars. This thing is freaking awesome. All right, let's go check out. Oh man. Oh guys, I am so excited. I mean, look at this thing. It's amazing. It is so amazing. Oh, all right. Let's jump in the car and take a little better look at it. My goodness gracious. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that they only price this at $10. It's like, who was doing the price? It's so crazy that they'll have like a broken, busted up toy that doesn't have like a head or arms on it and they'll mark it for $4.95. And then they take something like this and mark it for 10 bucks. Wow. It's made by a company called Rainbow Inc. Dallas, Texas. But uh, it even has like his little, his little T-Rex hands with his claws. At first, <laughs> I thought I almost broke him. When I first picked him up, I kind of accidentally slammed him on the table. <laughs> and I thought I was going to break his hand off. But thank God I didn't. But wow, guys, I am really, 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 really stoked about this. This is this is the first bust I've ever owned, and it's amazing. Like, I don't even know what to say. I'm just kind of speechless right now. I just, uh, I love the look of that, you know? Just the whole thing. Wow. Simply Wow. Well, guys, unlike Tom Brady, I'm going to go out at the top of my career. Wow, what do you say after that one? Brutal, savage, ranked. So we're going to stop right here. We're not even going to go and chance it at the next Goodwill because there's no way we could top that. I mean, we could, we could top it, but the chances of us topping that score is uh, your odds are... 3PO? 3,720 to 1. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, yeah. Well, hey, I hope you enjoyed watching this content as much as I enjoyed making it for you. If you did, do me a favor, smash the like button. That helps me out. It helps my channel grow. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button because I got a lot more great content coming your way and tons of videos. You can start binge watching right now, starting with this next video. I know you're going to love it.